Australia is quite well known as the Ferndale Strangler from our favourite soap and as director of award-winning, award-winning Jono and Ben. He is now sharing his <laughs> other talent as a songwriter. And I'm going to get in trouble for saying that, aren't I? And yep. a musician too, releasing his debut solo album, Sleepwalking. Please welcome to the cafe, Johnny Barker. Thank you. Hi. Hey, it's a real pleasure to have you here. One of the nicest men in showbiz. Oh, stop it. There you go. We'll start, we'll start, we'll just start laying that's it on the, right that's now. That's the other end of the spectrum from 10 years ago where I was the most hated man in, uh, in New Zealand. Well, yeah, you would have been because the Ferndale Strangler, that was such a big deal. Did you get people yelling at you on the street? Oh, yeah. yeah. Murderer. People went, people really got behind it, you know, positive and negative. It was awesome. It was very exciting. And this soap recently celebrated, and this soap which we cannot <laughs> name, um, <laughs> recently celebrated its 25th anniversary. Yes. And I, I saw you talking about, you know, the, the impact that that show had on your life mm, yeah yeah and, and what happened well you know has life been exciting since that yes absolutely so at the time it was of course overwhelming because everybody sort of you know went a little bit crazy which was fun I can't believe that was 10 years ago I know, I know. time flies yeah. right yeah. uh but ever since then, it's just like an awesome conversation starter. Sometimes I meet people and they're like, oh, I don't like that guy and I can't think of why. And then they figure out I'm from TV and they're like, oh my God, then we're all best friends. But yeah, mostly it's, uh, it's all positive. But you've done a lot of stuff, haven't you? I mean, so singer, songwriter, yeah. um, you've written screenwriting as well? Uh, yeah, we, we did a lot of 48-hour uh, film uh, films, you know, in the competition. We did quite well. One of the directors on John and Ben yeah. for the funny skits. Yep, yep, that's the one. <laughs> so many things. And your album, this debut album, out, like you've done music before, but this is your first solo one. Yeah. Barker Sleepwalking. Took you about four years to make. Yes, and, uh, and a wonderful four years. A nice, slow, like, easy-paced four years. I um, I bought uh, Pro Tools and learned how to record myself, so it was a, lot of, a bit of red wine and late, a few late nights, and, uh, you know, four years later, I've got a little record that I've been trying to put together for a long time, so I'm pretty proud. And how do you approach your songwriting? Because I, I heard that you approach it like you're writing a short film. Is that correct? That's right, yeah. So for the first time, uh, instead of writing about, you know, uh, a girl or, or from the heart or whatever, uh, a way to accelerate the writing process was to decide to use a character or a genre and uh, write as many songs as I could as if they were short film scripts that I'd want to one day film. Uh, and so out of the 20, you know, eight of them were good. <laughs> so, so I threw the other ones away. So when you're doing this on, for the album, when mm. you're doing, do you have involvement in the videos as well? Do you want to sort of step in and do all of that as well? I bet you do. Uh, yeah, I really do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of the whole idea, yeah. And it's come to fruition as well. Um, uh, we made Haunted House, which you showed a little uh, bit of before. We had my niece. Uh, we took some ideas from a film called Looper, where there's a little kid with telekinesis. Oh, yeah, actually. So we got yeah. to play with all the production values. It's just a wonderful excuse to, you know. You're exceptionally talented, Johnny. I mean, we'll give you that. Yeah, another compliment too. Ding, ding. Ding, ding, that? ding. Um, but, I, but you also play all the instruments, do you? Yeah, most of them. Not all of them. Right. Uh, I'm, I'm, I, uh, I'm aware that there are musicians around me who are. 10 times more talented at their respective instruments and so I beg them and plead them to come on and uh, and uh, add to the process and when that happens um, you know it's like a solo album but it's not really a solo album it's a it's a collection of, uh, of, of everybody's talents you know just pulled together. Okay so out of everything that you do though what would be the one you love the most? I know it's kind of like picking your favourite child. Exactly but, like picking your favourite child. But you've got you know directing, you've got performing, you've oh, got man. acting You've you know got what? making videos, script writing, what I, would be your favourite? I've got to be honest, it all comes from the same place, so the, uh, I'm equally in love with uh, all of them, right. the creative process. Yeah. But if I had to really pick one, directing? Okay. Direct and... <laughs> but be, only because uh, I get to direct all the time now, and directing is the same process where you get actors and writers and uh, production people, and it all comes together and you get to sit in that hot seat and watch it all yeah. come together. Uh, yeah. Listening to a bit of this album, it sounds to me, I re it sounds quite musy. Is that sort of something you were sort of actively trying to do? Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> <doing me. laughs> no, it wasn't actively trying to, but I'm definitely a big fan of Origin for symmetry, uh, Origin of Symmetry and uh, Absolution. So back in the day, those records. Very, very cool. Well, for those that are thinking, I want to have a listen, let's have a listen. This is <laughs> one of your latest releases. It's called Sensitive Video. Let's have a look. Sharp videos. 
sure. can see your influence in that. Sure. Um, and you're going to perform that for us a little later on in the show, the acoustic version. I would love to, yeah. Thanks. Okay, okay. So now you've got the album out, you've done all these things in your life. What's next? You're going on tour or you, you, you know, making a blockbuster movie in Hollywood? What's next for Johnny? If I could take all of the above, yeah. I would. Um, I would, man, if I could tour for like a couple of years around the world, that would be amazing. Oh. But in order to do that, you know, there's a few steps that, you know, need to fall into place. So yeah. um, on the ground level, on the other side, um, I'm really keen to uh, get an, a children's action adventure feature film off the ground. You've got one um, going at sort of on the board it's at the moment, haven't early you? Early days, yeah. We're all, you know, it's all, mm, talking away. I want to make the Goonies kind of uh, that sort of. See, I think this is a great genre. Oh, Having kids, I reckon this is brilliant. Totally, man. I think with like heavy duty drama films, you can really. It's the same as songwriting. You can second guess yourself a lot. But as soon as you make your audience, you know, young and uh, full of imagination, then I think you can. Or get behind that and just, you know, exactly. Blow the lid and then, off and and then they'll it. just keep liking you for ages because they start young and you keep them for ages. <laughs> um, Johnny, it's been an absolute pleasure having you in the studio. Thank and you for really looking me. forward to hearing you perform a little bit later on. Awesome. And Johnny's debut solo album, Sleepwalking, is out now on iTunes and Spotify. <laughs> to you like a poison pill I tell the truth let there be no doubt my hands are full but I'll help you out is it a censored video with glasses hiding those eyes I know when it comes to me I step aside and smile and wave to the passerby oh She bends the truth just to make it slide I'm as serious as a heart attack If you walk away, don't come back She's a censored video With glasses hiding those eyes I know When it comes to me Step aside and smile and wave to the passerby. Oh.